Boron for increasing testosterone. No one ever thinks about boron since it's the forgotten trace mineral and is often underutilized. It's present in a lot of foods like prunes, avocados, and red grapes. But what about boron's role on testosterone, erectile dysfunction, and muscle building? I mean, there's got to be a reason why it's used by many athletes and bodybuilders since it's believed to increase the body's ability to produce and use testosterone, which is great for anyone looking for exercise recovery, building muscle mass, and even keeping bones strong. In this video, we'll cover as many of this as we can, so you definitely want to stay tuned till the end. Also guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this one. Let's talk about boron and testosterone. And to understand how boron works, you got to understand what SHBG is. Boron has been found to decrease SHBG, which is your sex hormone binding globulin. Now, that's good news for your testosterone levels because SHBG's job is to bind to sex hormones like testosterone and make them inactive. 98% of testosterone molecules are actually bound to SHBG and are not bioavailable because bound hormones cannot exit the capillaries. So technically, by reducing the amount of SHBG in your blood, this allows you to safely increase your testosterone levels so that your testosterone becomes what is known as free testosterone, which can then be used to boost muscle growth, recovery, and strength. Take a look at this study tell nothing boring about boron that examined the effects boron on sex hormones has. Even though it was conduct, conducted with eight participants, six milligrams of boron a day led to a significant increase in free testosterone, which rose from an average of 11.83 to 15.18 picograms per milliliter. And get this guys, significant decreases in estradiol. In my opinion, the most interesting effect of boron is on vitamin D levels. And we all know the importance of vitamin D on testosterone itself, since men with the lowest vitamin D levels also exhibit notably lower concentrations of testosterone compared to those with higher vitamin D levels. Now, this may just be a correlation, right? Correlation doesn't equal causation, but there is evidence that shows us that vitamin D receptors and vitamin D metabolizing enzymes are simultaneously expressed in both Leydig cells and also in Sertoli cells and has a role in modulating the calcium-dependent luteinizing hormone responses. Luteinizing hormone is super important because it tells the testes to produce testosterone. But interestingly though, Boron increases the half-life of vitamin D by blocking the enzymes that break down vitamin D like 24-hydroxylase, which then slows how fast vitamin D leaves the body, which means the vitamin D actually stays longer in your system. Does that make sense? So it's going to be great for anyone who experiences lower vitamin D status in the winter months or if they live above the 37th parallel where sunlight is limited throughout the year. But here's actually where it gets interesting. It actually does this for magnesium too, which is why some take boron for increasing bone strength because 60% of your magnesium actually is stored right here as a surface substituent on the hydroxyapatite mineral component of the bone. And guess what, guys? We all know that magnesium is also responsible for increasing free testosterone as well, which means what? Boron makes a full circle. And what's actually fascinating is that horses, sheep, and other domesticated animals that develop signs of arthritis are sometimes given boron supplements to ease their pain and inflammation in the bones and joints, which I thought was interesting. Now you guys might all be wondering, what about erectile dysfunction though? This one's tricky and I want you to pay close attention. The idea that boron works for erectile dysfunction is based on the effects it has on free testosterone. If yours is caused by low testosterone levels coupled with high levels of estradiol, for example, then it's technically possible that you will find success with taking boron. But let's say it's caused by poor circulation, which by the way, you should watch this video here on how to strengthen blood flow, which I highly encourage you to watch after this one, or let's say it's due from nerve damage from diabetes, then taking boron won't help with erectile dysfunction. But what about the right dose of boron you need to get the benefits from it? Well, technically speaking, if you're getting all your nutrients and have a great nutritious diet, you could already be getting three milligrams of boron a day. That's assuming the soil used to grow your foods are actually rich in these trace minerals. The exact dosage actually varies from person to person, but the best evidence shows us that the ideal amounts for increased testosterone or erectile dysfunction 
is about six milligrams of boron a day, which I'll leave a link to the one that I would go with in the description below. Not sponsored, but only as an affiliate if you like to support the channel. And you might start to notice a difference after just one week with this one. Some choose to combine boron with zinc, Tonga Ali, which we speak about in this video, and Fidogia aggressis, which have become popularized from anyone watching Dr. Huberman's podcasts. I can make a separate video on Fidogia if you guys want to see that. Leave me a comment in the, in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to go into a lot more depth on Fidogia in the future. But in the meantime, guys, I would focus on lifestyle changes that can also boost your testosterone levels and help with erectile dysfunction. What are the five main ones that I would start off with? Avoid long duration endurance exercises, limit alcohol and quit smoking, limit your exposure to endocrine disruptors, which seem to be in almost everything these days, and exposure to blue light at night. Another big one is to lose visceral fat and improve on the quality of your sleep. I talk about more about these in this video on how to increase testosterone, so click here to check that one out. Subscribe if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys on the next one.